Good. Sort of a big week, huh? Florida State coming to town. Your, your thoughts on, on this big, big game that we see every year, huh? Oh, yeah, it's a big game. We just got to focus on Miami, focus on what we got to do in practice, work hard, compete in practice, and keep it going all week. Do you expect, do you expect a lot of extra attention after the game you had last week from them? Uh, I, I guess so. I guess so, but... Like I say, we gotta keep um, preparing hard in practice, going in practice, keep with other players, and focus on what we gotta do around here to prepare for Saturday. Are there any particular challenges the FSU secondary brings? Uh, I didn't hear you. I didn't, I Are there any particular challenges the FSU secondary brings to you guys? Uh, yeah, they they very um, athletic team, very physical up front. Uh, DB they young, but we see they they very they very physical. So we just gotta keep practicing, keep looking at them on film, and. We got to do. Letter, how, how much does it help you when the defense comes up with all these turnovers? How much does it help the offense? Oh, it helps us a whole lot because it gives, we, if we come off the field, we come off the field with a, say we come up with a touchdown or something, it gives us more money, the momentum to go back out there to push the ball, get, get it on, get more points, try to go out and get, get, keep it going. How uh, appreciative are you of what they've been doing the last couple of weeks? And do you guys talk to them and say, way to go, you're really helping oh, yeah. us? Do you- um, just like, it's very appreciative that they can get us the ball back because we want the ball. We want to draw the ball. We want to keep the ball in our hands. We want to score points. We want to get yards. So, <clears throat> as, as you see during the game, we all we, we clear the sideline. It's a timeout. They huddle. We clear the sideline. We, we pumping them up. We doing all that so, we, so they can get us the ball back. Hey, Hank, I guess a lot of people are talking about Ja'Cory being a little banged up. I mean, is he throwing the ball a pretty good zip today? Oh, yeah, he's throwing the ball pretty good. It's, everybody's banged up. The whole team banged up. We just got to prepare, stay in the training room, keep focused, and not worry about that. Not everybody's going to be knit. It's going to be how we're doing the season. So you got to keep focused. How does it feel to have a game <clears throat> like you did last week? What What does it feel like to be you when the ball's finding you and you're finding the end zone? How's that feeling? Like? Oh, it feels feel real good to make plays for my team, to help the team out, do what I got to do to uh, make plays, get in the end zone. It feels really good, but I just got to put that behind me. That game was last week, and I'm focused on this week before the play now. But when you're, in, when you're in the middle of that, do you feel like the ball's going to find you? I mean, you, it seemed like every ball was going to you. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I guess when, when it's happening like that, I guess it just feel like I'm in that zone just, just uh, I don't want to say give me, give me the ball, but we got other players that can make plays. You know? It just feels really good to make, make plays for the team. Going back to uh, Florida State, what do you remember watching uh, that Florida State Miami game as a kid? What kind of sticks mm-hmm. out? Uh, the game, very high enthusiastic with the team. Both teams going to go out. They're going to work hard. They're going to play hard with each other. And it's going to be a very exciting game. Is there one game you remember as a kid that was watching? Uh, Actually, I, I didn't really, I didn't really watch many Miami games back then. I used to, I used to watch all the Florida State games. All the, all the Florida State games when I was a kid, but I'm here at Miami now. It's different. Yeah, Sarah. what changed your mind? I don't know. I guess as I, as I got older, I found out that I, I wanted to play for the U. And when I got to high school, I got an offer and I came. Who was your favorite <clears throat> State player? Uh, I, I want to say, um, uh, I can't think of his name. The receiver? What? Is, Ward? Peter Ward? Peter Ward, yeah. 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 Do, do you uh, uh, do you know a lot of kids on FSU? I know a couple, a couple, but not a whole lot. Some, some, some on a lot. Two or three went to St. Thomas, but that's about it. Does that does that make the game a little different? When I know a lot of kids have played with kids on their team or know them. How does that affect things? Uh, no, not at all. Because it's, it's a game. You're not going. You friends off the field when it's on field. Game time, so you got to go out. You can't rub about that on the field. You got to go out and make plays and help your team. What difference does it make that this might be a sellout? There will be a ton of people on <clears throat> primetime TV. Oh, we just got to go out. We got to focus on what we got to do. Just work hard. Just play. Not worry about who's in the fan, who's in the stand. Just we got to take care of business on, on the field. How much impact do you think the winner of this game has on recruits who are battling between whether to go to Miami or Florida State? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. To tell you the truth. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey Hank, I know you've been having a really good run yourself the, the season, but the other receivers, I mean, do you, they want to get more involved? Should they be more involved? Oh, uh, like I said, I, I think I think we have we have many playmakers, many playmakers that receive all over the field, that running back, tight end, defense. Everybody, we can we can make plays. Man. Everybody want to help the team out, help the team out, make plays. So we just can practice, we need to be work all hard. We only have to do. But are those guys at all, you know, Travis, LeBron, and you, you've been getting a lot of catches the last couple of weeks. I mean, do you, do you get the sense maybe they want to get a little more involved in the offense in the next couple of weeks? Too? Uh, of course, I think everybody want to make plays. Everybody want to make plays, help the team out, 
So we just gotta just keep working hard and just keep making time in the game time. Are they, are they okay. frustrated at all? Do you think uh, with just the way the offense is going? Uh, no, nah, I'm not sure because I, I, I don't see it because they say they're working hard. They're doing how to do kind of practice, ready to practice. And we all having fun. Leonard, when you were younger, you, you sometimes you had some drops early in your career, and I know obviously you worked on that and you recovered beautifully. Some of the other kids have been dropping the ball recently, you know, spread spreading around. Um, are, are they doing? Are you giving them suggestions? Oh, what yeah, are they yeah. doing to take care of that? Oh, uh, we are. We we we're looking at a drop in the film. We watching it. We on going out of practice. We staying out the practice, catching jump machine, catching on the quarterback. And we doing what we have to do to correct it. Does Coach Hill get? Is he tough on that? Is of he of course getting... he is. He's a coach, and you always gonna be tough no, no matter what. You just draw, you make a mistake. They all gonna be tough. So we just gotta keep working hard, keep correcting the mistakes we doing, and keep working before practice, after practice. What's correct. the problem? Is there any? Is it nerves? Is it? Uh, I'm not. I'm not yeah. sure. I'm not sure what the problem. Is. We just gotta just find that problem and correct it. What have you seen in the Seminoles defense on film or? What you what you know to see by playing them every year? What do you what can you expect from them? Uh, I think the past couple years they have been playing like oh man a man defense, but this year I think they changed up to a, a zone team, more of a zone team. But I think they, they got a pretty they can be a pretty good game, pretty up front tough. And like I said, they're pretty young in the um in a in a defensive back, but they're gonna they're gonna kind of play like Miami Florida. They always kind of play each other, so it'll be a good game. Hey, how has uh, Travis react? You know, when Coach uh, Shannon. Uh, Singled them out a bit with those interceptions and those uh, two particular games. How has he dealt with that? Uh, I guess Trevor, he just put it behind him. He put it behind him just to go for me play. Like the day he came up, he had a good day today. He made some play. And just put it behind him. Not that if, it, if he, he can't cut if he think about the play, he's going to hurt us in the end. He's going to hurt us. So he just put it behind him. He came out, had a good day of practice today. Does that bother the player, you know, when the, the head coach says something like that and, you know, uh, publicly? Is it? How, how do the kids react? Uh, no, you can't. You can't let it bother you because if you do it, like I said, it's gonna hurt it. So you got, we gotta take the coaching and we gotta listen to the coaching. We all, we need to be coached, so we gotta take the coaching, put it behind. Us. I guess right now, I would just say the receivers have done so far. Two more questions. Um, uh, we haven't done up to what we are capable of doing. So we gotta keep working hard. We gotta keep preparing. We gotta keep uh, competing in practice and doing what we gotta do. When you said not doing yet, what you're doing? What specifics? Uh, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta block more. We gotta we gotta catch the ball more. And we just gotta keep being physical in the run game to get um to get our running backs bigger bigger um, bigger longer runs down the field. What's uh, Jacory's attitude been like? Uh, he's had a tough time this year, but and also he's had a successful time both. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I don't know. I guess we, like we have we have some both and we have some down, but we just keep putting them together. We keep working hard. Just keep. Uh, Focusing on the mistakes we're making and trying to correct the mistakes and just move forward. Does he have a good, pretty good attitude? Does he still, you know? Of course, of course, they have a pretty good attitude. Uh, as a whole team, we have a pretty good attitude because we got to keep focusing. We got to focus on one practice, one game, when we get a time and keep correcting mistakes and then keep moving forward. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks.